Go, Jack. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, this story takes place in California, Santa Cruz, uh, probably 30 years ago. Uh, this is my second wife, and uh, she loved to uh, surprise me on a birthday. Well, we surprised each other. Uh, mostly dinners, so it wasn't a big surprise. But this time, uh, we go out for a drive, and we're going through the countryside, and we pull up to an airport. No boy, not an airport. So, I knew there was a nice restaurant there, and I thought, well, this is the usual, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a nice birthday dinner. Well, we pull up, we park, and she gets out and says, oh, look, look at the old plane, yeah. double wing, you know, the biplane, open, open seats. Uh, so, walked over to the fence, and the gentleman comes over, and he said, uh, Judith? She said, yeah. He said, okay, then this must be the birthday boy then, right? And I said, oh boy, she got me again. He said, well, your wife had you lined up for a nice fly, doing the loop-de-loops and all that. So I understand that you really like this and would like to do it. Well, it's true, I wanted to do it, but now I have to do it. You know, she paid for this big trip, and I'm going, oh, but I can't get out of this. So uh, I said, oh, absolutely. I said, yeah. So uh, my wife uh, couldn't come beyond the fence because the public wasn't allowed in, in there, in that area, the airstrip. So she went over to the restaurant and she was going to watch out the big observation window. So the, uh, uh, the pilot uh, had a kind of a push cart and he had paperwork on it and uh, tools and things and he had the parachute. And so he said, well, let me get this parachute on you. I said, okay. So he fits it on me, real simple. And he said, now, to operate this thing, he says, it's as simple as pie. He said, if you have to leave the plane, you count three, and you just pull out and over and pull. No problem. I said, well, I no, no big deal, right? Okay, so uh, he said, listen, I have some things to do. He said, if you want to walk around, look at the plane, or get in it, or whatever, feel free. Okay. So I get up to the plane, and double winger, you know. And I mean, this thing has been around since 1930. I think it was 37 or 38. And uh, it showed wear and tear, to say the least. So I, I climb in the thing and get up on the wing, and... I'm in the back seat, and the controls, because it was a trainer plane, and they use it to train uh, uh, pilots. So you had the controls. It had a little windshield on it, about so far like the old cars had. And I look at the sides of this thing, and, and they're down. I go, wow. I mean, a whole lot, you could fall out of this thing real easy, you know? So I said, oh, okay, and then we're zipping along. Uh, well, I'm zipping along and thinking, wow, look at these controls. I got the stick here, you know, yeah. Oh. Well, all of a sudden, I hear, uh, Jack, I, we're ready. So, whoa, okay, hey, we, we pilot out and taxi out, and we get onto the strip, and we take off. I had the leather, one of the old leather caps that come down, goggles on. I thought, wow, all right. The wind is blowing by, and we, boom, 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 we take off, we go up. So he said, listen, we're just going to fly around in the area. And he said, you know, uh, for a short while, you can, you can see, you know, where you've been driving in all these years. And I said, yeah, great. So he takes us up, and we're flying around. I see the different towns, and uh, there's a good-sized lake not too far away. So he said, finally, he said, well, he said, you, you ready to do some loop-de-loops and stuff? I said, uh, yeah, yeah, right. So he said, well, I'm just going to rock the plane a little bit. And he says, and up and down. He said, just so you get a feel for it. Okay, which he did, and it wasn't bad. So he said, now I'm going to do a barrel roll. And actually just go, wow, one, one quick one right around. I said, okay. So he 
does the barrel roll and they come out and boy, I felt a little funny in the stomach, you know, like an elevator. So he said, how was that, Jack? I said, fine, hey, no problem. I wasn't going to give him any clue that I was nervous or anything and he was going to fly down and land the thing, right? So, no. So he said, okay, he said, what are we going to do now? He says, I'll do several of those in a row. We call it the corkscrew. I said, no, right? Corkscrew. Okay, go ahead, go to it, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Comes out of that thing, right? Yeah, oh. All right, you doing all right, Jack? How was that? I said, ooh, that was good. <laughs> Man, the stomach's really going. I go, yeah, oh. I said, I'm glad this thing is open because if I have to barf, <laughs> it's going to, yeah, oh. Anyway, so he said, okay, now what we're going to do now, he says, I'm going to go into a big, well, not a big one, a circle. And he said, but when I get to the top, I'm just going to stay upside down and we'll fly upside down for a while. Ooh. I says, okay, right? Upside down, and the sides are down this far, right? <laughs> and, ah, yeah, oh, here we go. So he goes into the roll, upside down. Getting into it, it was like, like an elevator again. The stone went, ooh, ooh, you know. Went upside down, I can't explain. I mean, you're looking at the world upside down, and you're zipping along. I thought, this is great, you know. Okay. So he said, now what we're going to do now, he says, we're going to go into a big one, big loop. And he said, uh, and then when I, when I get up there, he says, and we're going to just power dive down. Okay, here we go. So he goes into the big loop, you know, he goes way up and he's upside down up there. And um, all of a sudden, I don't, I don't hear the engine. I said, whoa. Before I could say anything like, hey, where's the engine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I hear he's, starting, he's trying to start it, restart, it actually stalled. And then and <laughs> you know, three or four of those, nothing. Well, the next words I heard, I, I couldn't believe him. He said, we're going to have to bail. We have to bail out. Oh, he said, you know how to work the chute. He said, remember, when you leave, he says, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna prop the plane on the side. He says, we'll literally almost fall out. Oh boy, I said, yeah, oh. Okay, so he said, you count to three, not too fast, not too slow. Yeah, I mean, don't do one, two, three, or don't do one, two, he says, because you're falling down fast. <laughs> so I, and then he says, just up, pull it to the right. Said, okay. He says, I'll see you downstairs. Those were the nice words I ever heard. Because if he sees me downstairs, that means I'm going to be downstairs. All right, so we take, put the plane this way. Almost did fall out. Didn't, just a little bit of crawl. And I counted, I think I counted, I, I don't know, maybe I counted only the one. Maybe I didn't even count, I can't remember. So I pull up on the thing and I go to go right. It's not moving. Oh, I said, oh, I pulled up again. I, I mean, there's nothing to press against. You're in the middle of the air here, you know, and I'm going, oh, man. Well, just instinctively, I did what uh, the skydivers do. I, I've watched them a lot. They just opened up their arms. I was floating like a leaf, like, like that. Opened up the arms, and I had this big floppy jacket on, not even a jacket, like a sweater. And it, it was like a wing. So I'm like this now. I'm flying. I'm flying. You know, I, I forgot that I, I had to land. Thank God now we're over water, right? And off in the distance, I, it looked like a boat. It's got to be this. Some, some look like a guy in it. I'd be fishing. I said, that, that's where I'm going to head. Next thing, I feel an updraft. There must have been cold water with the hot air. But that updraft actually slowed me down. It was like somebody put the brakes on. It was great. I thought, whoo, this is going to help. I said, but hello, Dopey. How are you going to hit the water? So I thought, ducks. I've seen ducks land a million times. They come in. They don't come down like this. They don't come down like that. Here's the water. They come in right along like this. They put their butts out like that. They put their feet. <laughs> 
they land. I said, well, I'm going to do that. <laughs> what else was I going to do? <laughs> I could dive in like Johnny Weissmiller, you know, and I wouldn't be here today. All right, so here we go. I said, I'm heading toward the boat. I said, I'm going to land as close to that boat as I can. Skydivers, they actually have contests where they can land in a three-foot circle. I said, that's where I'm going. Man, I got the doubt. I'm going down. Da, 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 da. Heading towards the boat, and I think, the next thing, I got to slap myself in the face. Hello? You don't know how to swim, huh? <laughs> no, I don't. That's me. I don't know how to Should have took lessons. Anyway, yeah, huh? Here we are going towards the boat, and all of a sudden, I put my butt underneath, and I put my feet out like that, I turned them up, got the arms out, hit that water, a big fan of water, and I'm sliding like a duck, and all of a sudden, I wasn't sliding, I was underneath the water, and I was sinking. I said, oh, I wasn't sinking fast, but oh, man, what a way to go. So then, I feel myself coming up real slow, all of a sudden, whoosh, come out of the water, right next to the boat, and I go, whoa, and I hear, get in. Oh, so I wasn't in the water anymore, but I wasn't in the boat either. I was standing on the tarmac next to the plane, and the pilot's saying, are we ready to fly, Jack? I got a two for man. I got a two for one. I got a two for one flight. It was the best, best birthday present I ever had. I, I still thank it. Love it. And I and I never learned how to swim. Yeah, me either. But I don't fly in double wing planes anymore either. <laughs> my scotch. <laughs> well, I, th that is going to be hard to follow.